Okay, so what is a rainy day in Vegas? I mean, what does that look like? It kind of looks like this. And it's been raining here off and on for about a good month or so. I think that is uh, March. Spring breakers are coming in, having a having probably having to party inside, but I'm downtown on Fremont Street. And people will still walk around and whatever. And it's fairly warm here, 60, 65. But we'll make our way all the way to Las Vegas strip ish. Everything on ultra wide. starting to come down nothing major but for us it's like you know a deluge well yeah this is Fremont Street all your favorite places to hang out are right over here but yeah it's fairly fun we got all these little bars and clubs and the Griffin and smash pig burger joint and then over here they've got like a pizza place evil pie uh, evil Knievel pie they call it all right so we'll head down the strip here Fremont Street experience and there's supposed to be like a huge construction conference, convention. I don't know. It's huge. Going on here, but it's dank, wet, and smelly here. When it rains here, there it's a different scent. It's that dry desert. Uh, this doesn't. It smells weird. Like if you live in like a grassy, full of trees, you get that fresh you know rain fresh rain scent here you don't it's like dead it's almost yeah it's like death almost not that that's bad it's just you know an observation still working on the streets here in vegas we're beautifying the city this will be a new restaurant complex but we'll just go down a little bit see what we can see Some of these lights have sensors on them, and if I flash my lights at a red light, it'll change for you. Uh, which is cool. And all these vintage signs that are in the middle of the median now. The Vegas Loop, it's free for downtown. That's cool that it's in front of me so I can show you. Like, It's the uh, free downtown loop. So it'll take you around the artsy district all the way to um, the stratosphere. And that's as, further, that's as far as it goes. It's the furthest south it goes. But Fremont Street's the northern end of Vegas. Blast this light. Try to get a new pizza joint over there. Small place. We got a cigar lounge. I've never been to that cigar lounge. It just looks kind of shady to me. But I guess you can drink there. It's got a bar. I don't drink, but whatever. See this guy's hopping on the. He's hopping on. There's a little station there you hop on it'll take you to the next area that it's going to and there's there's like a schedule on there as well tells you where to go it's all pretty pretty well marked and laid out so that's a convenient way to hop around downtown las vegas here everybody knows the pawn stars everyone goes in and gets their trinket and little keychain thing i'm in here and then there's her food thing food and bar up top rick's bars on top 
He'll he'll go to his bar once in a while. Tattoo places everywhere. Wedding chapels. Good lord, it's almost wedding season, so we gotta pay attention to all the wedding goers. Yeah, Vegas used to have almost 300 weddings a day here. 300 a day. Not so sure about those numbers now, but who knows. All right, let's keep this train moving. I'd go to the artsy district, but there's really nothing to see right now. Usually when it's a little sunnier and brighter, it's fun to go down, but I don't really feel like doing that. I want to find a cigar bar and hang out. Got a new cigar I want to try out, so this is always fun. This area here is like chapel, hostel, you know, little motels here. It's always been kind of a shady area, but they've cleaned up a lot over here. Cleaned up quite a bit over here, except talk of the town. That's where you go for your stripper experiences. Not even sure what's in there. I've never been in there, don't care to. Although I asked Tiffany to come, I'll ask her, hey, let's go to Talk of the Town and see what's in there. Nothing. I don't want to go in there. But yeah, things are changing for the better here in Vegas. See all these palm trees everywhere. People are like, I enjoy the palm trees. They're fun. They're festive. They make you feel good. That's why they put them all over the place here. But when you live here for a while, it feels, you kind of take it for granted that we have palm trees here. Because people will come in and go, wow, look at all the palm trees. And it's like, yeah, totally forgot about those. Oh yeah, peppermint hip oats, the new, new kids on the block here with the adult playground stuff. And then getting closer to the stratosphere. <laughs> That's kind of the artsy, or not, yeah, it's kind of artsy here, artsy fartsy. This marketplace will be demolished and turned into something else soon. So we're working on that already. We're drawing up all the plans and whatever. So, oh, we got some pedestrians walking. They got the, they got the right of way over here now. I, that's new. I gotta pay attention to that. That's a new uh, crosswalk. And now we're near the strat. And that's, that's the edge of downtown, right there. Actually, it begins at Sahara. But yeah, in the back they're doing uh, golf. They got their own golf swinging bar thing going on that they're building. So as that gets bigger and bolder, I'll uh, do more of that. But that's what's going on behind there. So they'll have their own little top golf, but they call it atomic golf for them. So yeah. All right. And the showgirls are waving. They want you to take a picture with them or whatever. So nice. So very nice. That cost the city probably $2 million for that. Anyway. All right, guys. That's a small little tour of downtown Las Vegas on a rainy day. So I hope you guys uh, like that. But I'll see you guys in the next adventure. All right. Cheerio. Cheerio.